Hello. I could be dead wrong, but I think, I think I'm having a good hair day today, which does not happen often. So I need to own it right now. Like, what should I go out and do? <laughs> I tried a new product. It's a viral one. Something that was recommended to me because my hair gets freaking frizzy. Yes, even in the winter time, I get this weird crap going on up here where every single strand wants to be straight, left, right, up, down. What's it called? Dream mask? So, let me just grab it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Color Wow Dream Coat Natural Spray. Been seeing this all over. Everybody's raving about it. I got a gift card for Christmas for Ulta. So I went in and I asked one of the gals that worked there. I said, hey, you got any of this like spray? Cause I want to try it out. They didn't have a full size bottle. She brought me over to the samples in the front and I was actually kind of relieved. I was like, you know what, good. This little thing was $16, which you know what, this works. I prefer things in travel size because I don't even know if I'm going to like it or not. Anyways, I used it last night and it definitely made a difference in my hair. My hair feels very smooth and it's blending better with my extensions than ever before. I have clip-in extensions from Glam Seamless that I swear by, I've been using them for years. I am a guru when it comes to hair extensions. I've been wearing extensions for, I think like 15 years. They've always been clip-ins cause I will never make the investment of getting them weaved in. I'm actually afraid of that. You can say hi. You got Bay on one side and my toilet on the other. Wait. When are you gonna pick up your laundry? When are you gonna pick this pile up? Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna show the whole world what you got going on here. Does anyone else's bay just create random piles of clothes? Like, I don't even know if that's clean or dirty. It's not something to be proud of. All me. I'm not proud All of you me. right now. I'm not proud. Okay, that's where you're gonna sleep tonight then. It's actually a lot bigger than it seems. Look at this. <sighs> He fits perfectly. <laughs> the edge of the bench, that, that episode is so funny. Dinner party is the best episode ever. Nobody's gonna tell me differently. Anyways, enough about my hair and my disgusting apartment. Let's get on about some winter leggings. You guys are asking a lot about what are my favorite leggings to wear during the cold winter months. We just got two snowstorms like back to back this week. I don't even wanna go to the studio today. So we're just gonna film here at home. Okay, so we're gonna talk about some winter leggings and then we have some fun activewear to unbox. Sometimes it's difficult to wear cute things in the winter time, which is why I tend to gravitate towards like plush sweatpants because I want to stay warm and I want to stay cozy. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Nine out of 10 leggings, they're meant for working out, right? Sweating, going to the gym, athleisure, moving around, being active in. This is why they're just built so breathable, which is a wonderful, beautiful thing when it's hot out. But when it's cold out and you still want to wear leggings, right? Because you're just, that bitch, what do you do? Where do you turn? Who are you gonna call? You're gonna call me because I can point you in the right direction. My number one legging when it comes to staying warm and staying cute at the same time, key word, is Petula's Bear Warm. So what makes these great for the winter is that they're not necessarily thermals, but they have a thermal-like feel. It's very velvety, very soft, brushed exterior, slightly more plush on the inside. This legging is still breathable, but overall very thick. The reason I would say these are my favorite winter leggings is because it feels cozy like you're wearing sweatpants, but in really cute legging form. They're not dense and bulky and thick like sweatpants. There's a crazy amount of stretch, so great comfort for all day wear. They're super flattering. These are great for running errands, going out, grocery shopping and things like that where you still wanna look super cute. So I wouldn't suggest doing any outdoor sports in these. These are more just athleisure leggings, but with a cozy, warm feel to them. So right now I'm wearing one from last year, this gray color that I love so much. I like the gray. It's very heathered, marled gray. Look how great the glutes look in my personal opinion. They kept a nice, beautiful V seam here. The logo is like this jelly patch, rose gold. I think it's a nice touch to the gray. Cross waistband, moderate compression. Now this cross waistband is sewn together. You see that? The length is perfect. I did get it in the shorter option. Now this particular legging here is from last year. Since then they have updated their fits. I actually have one in brown that I got around the fall time, late fall. 
So it's a very dark brown color. Again, they love their marl heathered look, which in my opinion really adds to that cozy factor. Supposedly they updated the fit and made it not so snug. Now I'm wearing a small, these fit just fine. I don't feel like they're too compressive or too snug. These, I do feel a little bit of a difference. There's a slight let up, a little more room. I like them both equally the same, but they did say on the site that with this new modified drop, if you were in between sizes or if you would size up back in the day with these, you do not have to size up in this new drop. You stay true to your size in this. So guys, putting on the new updated version, holy crap, I could really feel the difference. Wow, there's so much more room. Crazy, in the waistband, in the body of the legging, all of it. It was easier to put on. Like I said, I had no issue with the OG, but this feels a little more relaxed and I like that. How that booty look though, okay. Now there's not a ton of glute separation, not what I'm looking for in this style of legging, just something that's gonna keep me warm, something thicker than my traditional leggings that I wear out and about. But luckily enough, these still look really cute and flattering on the glutes because of the arch seams. I really think that helps to just accentuate your curves while still being modest and versatile. I'm sticking to my true size small in both of these fits. They're also very squat proof. Obviously they're thicker leggings, so you can expect them to be pretty opaque. If you guys caught the last Buff Bunny launch, they dropped their brand new heathered leggings. Gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> they're just like these, exactly like these. I'd say they're more like the OG gray ones I just had on rather than these, the new updated. I wanna fall in love with Buff Bunny's version because they're just so similar, so why wouldn't I love it? But the kicker is they just sold out so fast and I don't know if they're gonna have more. You know what I'm saying? You don't know if they're discontinuing that. They wanted to pop it out for the winter time and that's that. What I love is the consistency Petula has with their bare warmth collection. They've had this for a while. I don't see it going anywhere. They're always coming out with brand new colors. So I think that they're tweaking it and updating. It's here to stay. So if you're interested in warmer leggings, you gotta check out Petula. Quality's awesome. And in case you're wondering about the top, this is also Petula. Like when I think Petula, I think comfortable, luxurious pieces, kind of like Buff Bunny. So if you're a Buff Bunny fan and you've heard of Petula, but you're on the fence, if you like Buff Bunny, I really think you will like Petula. I also have a Petula coat. It's Ash G, saves you 5%. And there's my shameless plug. <laughs> All right guys, so those are the winter leggings that I suggest personally. They've been the best for me during this time of year. If you have any other questions, let me know. But um, I think I should go do something because you know, it's not often I have a decent hair day. I'm not even gonna say good, it's decent. Um, what the hell should I do? I have no life. As of right now, I am waiting for my doorbell to ring because that UPS guy's coming, needs my signature for that Pop Flex. You guys have been asking for Pop Flex for months and months now, and I finally got around to placing a pretty, pretty big haul. Now, the only thing is, is it took so long to get in and it's supposed to get delivered today. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna scream. This might be a, uh, a, a new video haul here <laughs> getting delivered. Okay, so we have some unboxing to do, some future videos. I'm gonna tease a little bit of that. What's in that pink bag? It's a buff bunny. Oh, am I, what is that? I don't even know what that could be. That is a mystery buff bunny package. I mean, the, the launch already happened, so I don't really know what that is, but we're gonna find out together. We got some new Young LA, we got some pop flags. Truvani, all right, baby, I was hoping you'd be here. I think I know exactly what this is. Yes. The baby tees. I've been waiting for these. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, they're dropping today. Got them a little late, but better late than never. I'm actually gonna wear this exact color. The black one? Yes, because nice. it goes with the black cargos I'm wearing. These, these are their travel cargo joggers that I love so much. Nice. So I think that would look really cute. Go. So we're just gonna breeze through what we have going on here. If there's anything you have a question about, let me know in the comments because I'll be sure to touch base on it in upcoming videos. So pretty much everything you're gonna see here is definitely coming up. This is not a review, not a try on, just an unboxing. Let's start with Buff Bunny because I don't actually know what the heck they sent me. Oh. 
Okay, yeah, the bodysuit from the Genesis collection. I hope, is this even still available? That's the real question at hand. <laughs> I didn't get this because they said they had stock issues, so I was just anticipating on not getting it. And here it is, so thank you, nice surprise. Real quick, I've been on a Truvani kick. Truvani is a plant-based protein company and I usually steer away from plant-based proteins because they're very chalky and they just taste nasty. But this company actually gifted me some proteins and I fell in love right away. Are they chalky? Yeah, they still are, but they're not nearly as bad as others I've tried. And they're actually very, very tasty and have awesome, awesome flavor options. So I don't even know what this is. What do we got? All right! <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, because I literally just ran out of this. So I'm excited that they gave me some more sample packs. I saw they sell these on Amazon too. You can get big containers or you could do like variety packs. Like check this out, dude. So we have basic vanilla. So they have your basic vanilla chocolate. This is the basic chocolate. Some flavors are really interesting. Like this one's matcha, vanilla chai. Hell yeah, that's delicious. There's one I really love. It's banana cinnamon. And I literally make my morning oats with banana and cinnamon in it. So I toss that protein powder in my oats. Great way to get your protein. I am not sponsored by Truvani. I just really like their proteins. They let me taste test. I approved and um, that's about it. Should we start with Young LA or Popflex? Young LA. Yeah. This is all their new stuff dropping on the 31st. You can expect a video. Don't you worry. <sighs> Freaky. Mm, mm. Oh, I don't even know if this was a good idea. So Young LA's kind enough to give me one of each color. I'm not gonna bore you with every single color. Just gonna show you each piece that's dropping. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that's gonna be so stinking cute. Are you joking me? You better not be fooling me now. Oh, Young LA, don't fib me now. This is adorable. Love that. Or oh, look at the text. Hell yeah. They went YLA in cursive. Casual. Look at how wide this is gonna look. I just know it's gonna look good. I just freaking know it. That was their lazy day long sleeve. This looks different, okay. Oh yes. They're coming out with compression cap sleeve, body fit tees. <laughs> compression sleeves, so cute. Like the cap sleeve I'm wearing right now, just one solid color. I'm so excited to try that. This is their first compression tee for women. I'm stoked. Oh yeah. Oh wow, what a pretty color. This is their mint. Let me just shake everything out of here real quick. Nobody likes that sound. This is their minimal hoodie. So everything's tonal. They stuck with that Roman numeral branding. That's their branding so far this year. But wow, cute. Hoodies, hoodies, hoodies. Lazy day. They're dropping more of their curve flare legging. I am obsessed with this legging, except it's way too long. So they updated it and made it a little shorter. So they say, I mean, I'm pretty freaking short, so I don't think this is gonna work anyway, but I am thrilled to try it. <laughs> Doesn't hurt to try. And of course, like they always do, they drop each piece in an arrangement of beautiful colors. So look out for that on the 31st. Don't worry, I will do a full in-depth review. Do you guys know what this is? This is a highly requested video that's finally coming to you in the year of 2024, all right? Popflex. First time opening a Popflex package right here on this channel. What's up with this awkward looking box? That's what he said, right guys? Why is it so long? That's what she said. Popflex is super cute and dainty and girly, feminine. I'm really hoping that I open this box and find something more aesthetic. They better not just plop the packages in here. I mean, if they do, I don't care. But I mean, you can't make your site and your outfits that cute and not present. Oh, okay, so they just threw it with bags. <laughs> It's okay, it's all good. I'm not mad. Secret scratcher, what's this? What will you win? Scratch off to reveal your prize. Don't mind if I do. Do you have anything I can scratch? Don't be, don't be dirty here. Nah, it doesn't work with your nail. I wanna win something. Okay, it's not working. Come on, all right, stop wasting my time. <laughs> Everyone's got a junk drawer. Don't make it out like we're weird. Come on, there's gotta be a quarter or something in there. Let's go. Here's a key that you can use the, the round edge on. 
or... Oh, no, this is good. Thank you. No, thanks. <laughs> what am I going to win? Oh, 50 bucks? Wait, really? No, $5. Wait, how do... Five bucks, I guess, off my next order? That's pretty cool. That's a fun little concept. That's huh? interesting. It's a scratch off. And I never win anything. I have a feeling that everybody is a winner with these. <laughs> <laughs> this was a very cute idea. Nice job, PopFlex. That made me smile. Okay, PopFlex, what do you got for me? I'm so, so, so excited. Guys, you've been wanting this review for so long and I am finally here to deliver it to you. I've been eyeing them too. But you know what actually drew me in is the fact that they just came out with seamless activewear too. Don't know how good it's gonna be, but I'm absolutely open to trying it, which is exactly what I did. Now, what did we get here? I forgot what I ordered. Because honestly, it took a while to deliver. Like almost, I think it almost went on a month to get to my doorstep. So I, oh, I kind of forgot what I got. 29 inch workout, but make it cute joggers. Ooh, oh my God, this reminds me of what I just got from Honor Active, I forgot. <laughs> okay. What makes PopFlex really pop for me and makes them really unique is their ballerina inspired clothing. Do you ever notice that? Like a lot of their styles have a lot of ruching and frills and very feminine girly ballerina. That's just the vibe I get. And I really, really, really love the fact that they're so engaging on their platform. So I follow them on Instagram and every time I see them post, they're always asking the audience like what they would like to see next, what they prefer. And they're always making adjustments. They literally design their pieces based off of feedback and what everybody else wants. That is so awesome to see. Oh, I forgot I got this. Yeah. Okay. I know what you're thinking, but you know what? Spring's around the corner, right? I hope. Probably not, but oh. Okay, these are super cute running shorts. Not that I'm gonna run, but you know, I like when there's some layers to it. So when I saw these, I was like, yes. It's gonna go with the top I got. Yeah, wow, this feels nice. It says so magical on, wow. Ooh, what the heck? Oh my God. Oh hell, I forgot I got this. This is like a romper. Shorts and a hoodie combined. I don't own anything like this. When I saw it, I said, this is too unique for me to pass up. They come in so many different colors. I made sure I got a neutral just in case I want to wear it in the summertime, but I was eyeing like that burgundy color they had. Yeah, okay. Okay, <laughs> yes, I was waiting for you. I had to grab one of their skleggings. <laughs> I can't say that without laughing, to be honest. I got it in navy blue. It's like a short and a legging. This is gonna be interesting, that's all I'm gonna say. Come on. Okay, oh, yep. It's not a pop flex hole without grabbing one of their dresses, right? Their active dresses. Oh my God, this is so soft. Oh, thank God, there's no hard padding. <gasps> this feels like feathers. Are you seeing this? Pirouette, pirouette. <laughs> I actually used to do ballerina. I mean, I used to do ballet when I was a little girl and um, I wasn't very good. Now, this is really adorable. I love how creative they are with their designs. I mean, you have like a corset style up top, race seams, ribbing. Oh, this is gonna look so cute, or it might not. That one could go either way on me. <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorite pieces that I grabbed, and I grabbed it for the shorts to pair with those really purpley, pretty shorts that I just shared with you. I, it's the ruffled sleeves for me. Are you kidding me? My younger self would be freaking thriving right now. Hell, my older self right now, I'm thriving right now. Just looking at these pieces, I'm so stinking excited. But yeah, the ruffle sold me, without a doubt. Don't own anything like this, that's the point. I'm all about trying new things this year. I'm not even kidding. I literally have a brand coming in where there's front seams. I know what you're thinking, what? Ash, you? Anything goes. I am not ruling anything out this year. I'm broadening my horizons, okay? It's 2024. I don't remember getting this. I don't remember ordering this at all. Let me see what else I got because I don't remember actually ordering that. Oh, duh, this is the seamless. Oh, cool. I didn't, ex okay. I thought this was just a ribbed bralette. Well, there you go, sneak peek. This is definitely low key seamless. I didn't even rule it as being a seamless. <laughs> Let me see about the leggings. Please be gym friendly. Actually, it's not a huge deal if it's not, but okay. Wow, these actually, these came in better quality than I anticipated, especially with Seamless. I think it's pretty new to them. I could be wrong. Again, I'm new to the brand. So far, vibes are there. <laughs> okay, last but not least, what is this? Workout, but make it cute. That's their slogan. 
Is that supposed to be an Easter egg? Because that's really cute. This is to go with the joggers that I got. First thing I shared with you, we have an oversized zip. I love oversized hoodies, but I love them even more when they're zip. I don't have enough zips. I have a few, but some plain neutral zips like would be great. You know what I mean? Okay, so did I tease you guys enough? Are you gonna stay tuned to see the review? Give this video a like if you are. While you're at it, do me a solid. If there's any questions you might have regarding any of these pieces, drop a comment below. This way I know what aspects to center on in the review. I try my hardest to cover everything, but it would be extra helpful if you guys had specific questions. This is exactly why I'm doing this unboxing now. Give you guys a preview of what to expect, and then now you can generate some questions you might have. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. I love you guys, and I will catch you in my next video. Damn, bro. I was waiting to see how that uh, long note would hang. Now I'm laughing. Now it's going to be hard for me to do it. That's what what the hell? Why are you? It's freaking. I'm jolly all year, baby. I don't need a time frame. Damn. I don't ho, need ho, a time ho. Frame. I'm holly jolly 24 7. Ho, ho, ho.